Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise or longer just about every weekend. And this time I am on the Mariner of the Seas for a five night sailing to Cozumel and Coco Cay and wanted to share with you the Vitality Spot or the Fitness Center here on the Mariner of the Seas. Now compared to some of the other videos that I've done, this one is going to be a little bit smaller than the Oasis class ships and definitely than the Freedom class. Um, or the freedom of the seas, I should say, that have a lot more features to it. So it is a smaller gym when you come here, but it still gives you great options to make sure that you're staying healthy while you go on cruises. Because you know if you're going to go every weekend and be a weekend cruiser, you got to make sure you're taking care of yourself so you can continue to do that. All right, so walking in, you're going to see the reception desk over here on the right. This is where you're going to have your personal trainer. So if you need to uh, get some tips or tricks or sign up for one of your spin classes, maybe or stretch class, this is the guy you're going to come to. So he's going to be the one to help you out. You'll see you've also got the spa. So they've got this staircase here in the middle. That's going to take you up to the spa. They're going to have their own reception if you want to sign up for any of the massages or maybe you want to sign up for um, the leg compression chair. This is uh, one of the newer offerings that they offer here at the gym. The first thing you're going to see is they're going to have their exercise room front and center when you walk in. So the sign up for your spin classes, sports classes, stretch classes are all going to be right here for you to come throw your name on. There is a cost for some of these, so just make sure that you are checking into that. They have a package, so if you're going to be doing a few of those, make sure you're grabbing the actual package. You're going to have Swiss balls over there and you're also going to have the spin bikes here. On this ship, it does not come with any of the actual shoes. So you're going to need to bring your own shoes or you can always just strap in. I'll show you the attachment there so you know what to bring if you want to bring your own shoes for the spin class. Coming on around, you'll see the weightlifting section is going to come up on the left. This is where we're going to have um, a lot of different options for you to lift and work out. It's going to be limited on a few different things. So you're not going to see a Smith machine in here and you're going to see um, no easy bar. So it's going to be mainly just the dumbbells going all the way up to 100 pounds in increments of five and just a few benches, not too terribly many of those here, but it gets the job done. I haven't found the gym that terribly crowded, but if you want to avoid the crowds, make sure you're coming after 10 a.m. Most people on a cruise ship, needless to say, are morning people. You're going to have your assisted chin-up machine, T-row bar, and a leg section over here to do leg presses, leg extensions, and your hamstrings. You're also going to have chest press, tricep dip, and a chest press machine, or I should say a pectoral fly machine over here as well. So it's a little bit more limited also in simply the number of machines that they have. So you're going to have to come up and be a little bit creative. You have a pull down machine and you're also going to have a bicep curl machine. Directly behind me, I'll pan quickly, you're going to see a limited number of kettlebells. There's an assortment of those. The weights don't necessarily they don't have all of them, but they've got a few of them there. And you have a rope that you can pull on as well as a good place to do um, pull-ups and chin-ups if you want to do that there and a tricep station on the right here you're going to be able to do some cable exercises this is where I actually spend a lot of my time these days if they don't have the Smith machine I try to come over here and modify to make this work as well and this is going to go all the way up to 97.5 pounds plus the extra weight up at the top that you can bring down so for your strong people out there that's what you're going to see you're also going to see the cardio equipment on this ship is a little bit more dated than what you're traditionally going to see. So you see you've got, you know, your bikes that are here and you're going to have one stair climber. I know those have gotten very popular recently. And you're also going to have treadmills. None of these have the direct TV directly on them, but they do have TV stationed throughout if you want to watch that. And just to call out that if you're looking straight ahead, and I don't know that we can see it now, but this is where you can look directly down into the bridge. So if you want to see what they're doing in the bridge, that is a cool little spot to walk out on deck 11 and check that out. They're also going to have some elliptical machines for you and one row machine before carrying over to another stationary bike, some more ellipticals and treadmills. So there is the Mariner of the Seas Fitness Center. As you can see, it is a little bit smaller. It is a little bit dated. It does not have TRX ropes. It doesn't have a Smith machine. It doesn't have easy bars and definitely no barbells. That's something that we don't find on any of the cruise ships. 
but it still gives you a lot of options on how you can stay healthy during your cruise vacation. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you happy and healthy on a weekend cruise or longer sailing soon.